hello everyone i hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves so today i'm going to talk about what does a breakup with a narcissist look like and before i get going i would request you all to like share subscribe the channel hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content so breakups are painful it's difficult i have gone through it and i'm sure you guys must have experienced it at some point in your life now let us see what exactly happens when we are the one when you are the one who decided to put a full stop to the narcissistic relationship you are the one who decided to you know cut ties from the narcissist what happens next it's it's quite a roller coaster ride yeah it's not smooth it's not easy it's not something where the narcissist tells you okay fine you go your way i go my way narcissists cannot handle rejection and refusal very well yeah they hate when they are refused and rejected and you know breakup is uh, equally hurting for these narcissists these narcissists in no time you know transform into a, a, a full-blown devil yeah when when they learn that you are leaving them when they learn that you are getting over with the relationship these narcissists are going to display a lot of contempt and vindictiveness yeah they are going to be very vengeful and and they're going to make you know it their mission to teach you a lesson yeah teach you a lesson and then just let you be or teach you a lesson so that you again come back to them you come back and apologize and you seek their mercy and again the cycle of abuse begins so what all happens when we decide to break up with these narcissists the first thing is that we don't get closure closure is not uh, you know the narcissist cup of tea they don't give closure because they feel they are entitled and whatever they are doing is right they don't think that it is necessary you know for them to tell you why they did what they did it's you who is uh, you know ending the relationship it's not them yeah so there is all the more reasons why you don't deserve a closure and overall i mean uh, if you analyze these narcissistic relationships there is no room for closure you will never get to hear from them why did they behave like this yeah why did they treat you in a bad way why did they dehumanize you they are not going to answer that in other relationships of course you know couples sit together and you know talk about things that okay this went wrong here you were very harsh here you had been very abusive here you were not listening to me so in a healthy breakup you know people sit together and talk about things and give closure okay fine it was my mistake it's okay if it didn't work out we had a good time together yeah that's how it ends and uh, we go our way and the other party goes their way but with these narcissists things are very wild and um, difficult and painful I would say the next thing that you will observe is that uh, after the breakup in no time these narcissists are going to move on they're going to find new supply yeah if it's not you they're going to find someone else and uh, it, it's quite shocking they don't wait they don't think they don't uh, you know process things they don't grieve it's it's almost like as if nothing happened it was just a breakup now you're not there they they replace you they get uh, another person they they get another supply yeah so as as we know that uh, relationships are very transactional and instrumental and conditional with these narcissists yeah as long as you're doing what they want you to do it's fine the time you say no or you are unable to give them what they want they're going to discard you yeah they're going to you know uh, get another supply so yes yeah, so these uh, narcissists uh, you know don't hesitate in moving on asap yeah maybe in a week's time they're going to marry or you know get in relationship or going to find a new host or supply 
The next thing that happens uh, with us is that uh, we begin to blame ourselves because of all that gaslighting enablers around us. Yeah. We were gaslighted to feel as if we are the problem. Yeah, we are the root cause of all the problem. The narcissist is fine. He's taking care. She's taking care. It's us who is all the time overreacting. It's us who is all the time finding fault and flaws in the relationship. So all, all the hard work done by the enablers, you know, and the narcissist puts us in such a position that we begin to blame our own selves maybe i was not good enough maybe i had you know gone too far maybe i was so harsh maybe i i, I was just being very biased so yes uh, we we begin to blame ourselves for a brief period of time we we go through that phase where we keep blaming ourselves because of all that gaslighting and you know emotional abuse plus the flying monkeys enablers around us constantly you know guilt tripping us uh, constantly gaslighting us there comes a you know time where we start believing all those you know criticism we begin to believe whatever the narcissist tells us yeah and uh, we start living that lie that was told to us so yes uh, for a brief period we go through a phase where we blame ourselves we had been very uh, quick in uh, you know getting over with the relationship we did not give them another chance maybe there was something wrong with us we were very impulsive a lot of thing happens yeah. and uh, when we are in that phase where we blame ourselves we we have a lot of this rumination happening on the inside and uh, we ruminate what if i would have been a little lenient things would have been better it would have had worked out well i pushed it way too far i shouldn't have had yeah i i shouldn't have had reacted this way you know otherwise things would have been better so a lot of rumination blaming our own selves and all of these things happen when we uh, you know get over with uh, a narcissistic relationship and then months or maybe in some cases years i mean in my case of course it was years it it was not just months and weeks it was years after the breakup i i realized that i had a lot of things inside of me that i should have explored long back which i did not explore because i was in a relationship with a narcissist and i was conditioned controlled manipulated gaslighted to think and be and behave in a certain way so after a couple of months or maybe years you get to realize your true worth and potential and then you look back and see that uh, i mean where was i what was i into yeah i i deserve a lot better post breakup you know we all need time to process everything to you know uh, understand certain things to have this radical acceptance that okay fine i was with a person who is never going to change i was with someone who is the way you know how they are yeah they don't change under any circumstances so after a breakup uh, we need that time we we need that space and time to heal understand fix ourselves and then move on with life yeah. we we do need that me time yeah self reflection having that radical acceptance to whatever we had a brief period of rumination brief period of griefing and that's it yeah for these narcissists things are very different you leave them today you're going to see them with another person after two days or three days or after a week so uh, they don't process the way how we do how healthy individuals do and uh, they they are very smart and quick yeah. their relationships are very transactional and instrumental if you are not supplying fine there's a replacement waiting yeah so yes uh, this is uh, how the breakup with a narcissist looks like yes it involves a lot of smear campaigning and gaslighting by the narcissist by the narcissist enablers and their flying monkeys 
plus there is a lot of things that happens uh, with us on the inside and uh, we are able to you know uh, come out we are able to move on you should seek an expert or a counselor who can help you navigate because not all of us are smart and intelligent and efficient enough we have our own pros and cons and challenges in life yeah so not all of us can process things uh, you know with clarity so it's always advised to take help of uh, a coach or a therapist who can help you navigate through and you know you you are able to you know come back stronger you are able to heal yourself and you know you you go on with life yeah you don't uh, you know begin to sabotage your own self you know in in that uh, um, breakup with all that trauma with all that pain and hurt and anxiety you you don't uh, begin to sabotage yourself so yes so uh, if you are going through a breakup with a narcissist i would suggest that uh, seek a professional help either a therapist or a coach who can help you navigate better yeah it, it helps yeah experts uh, can help you you know navigate it better yes so this was it in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below and please take care of yourself and there is so many good things out there in the world yeah at least there are better people there are better things in life than the narcissist so please take care of yourself don't ignore the red flags and try and stay away from narcissists lots of love and blessings to all of you bye